Picoscope and analyzing cylinder pressure waveforms. Picoscope's automotive oscilloscopes allows you to capture and view waveforms from almost any electronic system in today's motor vehicles. But investigating signals in manual mode is only the first step on the way to detect malfunctions. Pico Diagnostics Advanced Analysis Software was created to reduce troubleshooting time and increase the diagnostic accuracy. It is designed to perform tests like battery tests, compression tests, cylinder balance, NVH test, and prop shaft balancing. To expand the scope of research capabilities, Picoscope Automotive was equipped with the export function of recorded signals to MATLAB. Thanks to this, the waveforms can be investigated using third-party software. How is this used in practice? Let's consider the example of the pressure waveform in the cylinder. The cylinder pressure graph can be recorded using a PX35 transducer or with a WPS500X transducer using a special fitting. The signal from the pressure transducer will go to the input A. Additionally, using the input B, you can record the signal from the synchronization pickup. The black alligator clip from the power lead of sync adapter connects to the ground of the vehicle body. The red alligator clip must be connected to the positive terminal of the vehicle's battery. Set the spark tester gap to 5 millimeters with the tester grounded to the car body. Because this engine is equipped with individual coils, a high voltage extension is used to connect the ignition coil to the spark tester. Always ensure solid connections when working with high voltage circuits. Clamp the synchronization pickup to the high voltage extension of the cylinder to be tested. Remove the spark plug and install the pressure transducer in its place. For this engine, the use of a deep well adapter is required. Locate wires as far as possible from the ignition system and rotating elements of the engine compartment. While in Picoscope Automotive Software, select Menu, File, go to Open, and choose Startup Settings, PX.PS Settings. Start the engine. After three to five seconds, slowly depress the throttle to raise engine speed. Then, release the throttle to let the engine return to idle. Rapidly increase the engine speed, turn off the engine electronics, but keep the throttle open until the engine stops completely. Stop capturing the waveform. It is very important to stop recording no later than 50 seconds. The tracer should not leave the screen. Select Menu, File, go to Save, and save the recorded waveform. Upload PS data file with recorded waveform to the forum autoscope.eu forward slash forum In the message, provide vehicle type, model, year, volume, and engine type. Don't forget to add the wave recording. It is also advisable to leave a comment about how your car engine works. Forum moderators will convert the signals from PS data format to the MWF format. All that's left is to download the MWF file and execute the PX script built in the free distributed USB oscilloscope software. Select Analysis, go to Run Script to run the automatic analysis of the collected data. The PX script provides a report with the results of the measurements and calculations. There are several tabs presented using text, tables, graphs, and animations.
the script will automatically analyze various measurements and render a diagnostic report which can be found in the summary section of the results and analyses tab. In the case of this vehicle, the results are faults are not detected. This report can be printed out and given to the customer. Consider this report from the PX script for an Audi i6 with a 2.4 liter V6 engine. The amount of gas loss is 66%. That is far beyond the typical range of 15 to 20%. The script summary indicates the cylinder is losing compression. The script is capable of identifying other issues. As an example, insufficient exhaust valve clearance and a sticking variable valve timing adjuster. The PX script displays the actual valve timing by automatic analyses of the gas amount changes in the cylinder. An interactive animation demonstrates the real process of gas exchange in the cylinder. Variables such as initial installation of the camshaft, stretch and slack of timing chain belt, valve clearance, shape and wear of camshaft lobes, and the variable valve timing system are automatically taken into account during the automatic analyses. During day-to-day -day usage of the script, it would not be necessary to manually examine the waveform as the script automatically calculates valve opening and closing events and their impact on the operation of the engine. For this engine, the PX script reported insufficient filling of the cylinder and found that the cause of this condition was valve timing anomaly detected. The measured closing angle of the intake valve has gone beyond the typical range of 570 to 600 degrees. The results of the filling of the cylinder are available in both table and graphical form. In the table, a list of engine speeds and measured values show the cylinder filling is below the typical range. At the same time, the filling diagram's red graph line corresponding to snap throttle is positioned below the expected area. Consider the test results for a Ford Focus 2, equipped with a turbocharger. The results clearly show that the turbocharger operates above 3000 RPM and increases engine torque by approximately 20% in the 4000 to 6000 RPM range. The script also tests another important engine system, exhaust. The script can estimate exhaust system restrictions. This result is from a cylinder of a Chevrolet Spark. The exhaust system restricted not only created a power loss during the exhaust stroke, but also adversely affected the cylinder fill. The cylinder's contents could not be emptied, so no fresh mixture could be introduced. The loss of full density causes a reduction of power. As a result, at engine speeds above 3000 RPM, any power developed by the cylinder is spent on clearing the cylinder's contents. Because of this, the engine speed cannot be increased any further. If the synchronization pickup is used when data is collected for the script, then the ignition timing can also be checked. When checked, the ignition timing advance is measured not only at idle speed, but also during different load ranges. This example shows incorrect base ignition timing. This result was obtained from a 2007 Mitsubishi Lancer 9 with a 1.6 liter 4G18 engine. Base ignition timing is not adjustable. Diagnosis and teardown revealed that the reluctor for the crankshaft position sensor was incorrectly installed.